This is like a whole new world to me, right? Because I, I missed all this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you can start to see what. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I recently discovered that psychopath shower facing towards the shower head. Which way do you face in the shower? There's also a picture of you skiing uphill, which is impressive. <laughs> so, if anyone's interested in a date, <laughs> so you're just up in bags for a living. <laughs>
only pressure is are the actual attendees going to turn up? That's it. With everything else, you have full control. What about insurance? Do you need any sort yeah. of big events insurance? What um, does that look so like? Should the venue have that? Most London venues, depending on what it is, but if you're like the QE2, you've got to have a minimum of 10 million public liability. Mm -hmm. You can do that on it. Who should have that though? Is that the venue or is that? The venue will have it, you will also need it as well. But if you're bringing in any stuff, and what does that cover? What do you say about the liability? What's that? Anything that can go wrong. So like if something fell on one of your men's stuff. Or someone in there? Yeah. Or anyone in there? Right. Yeah. shoot you over those bits, I'll try putting some form of where we are at the minute. Yeah, yeah. Take, take, take a look, it. let me know what you think. Um, and as I say, yeah, we'll take it from there. So one, one thing we tried to do for mental health last year was, I did my head, I was like, wouldn't it be amazing if we could give every family free private mental health? Yeah, I remember you saying about that. And we struggled to get that to take off <clears throat> on two fronts. One, no families really came forward for it. Yeah. Two, no partners would come forward for it. Do, do you think that's a timing thing though? Like, Maybe. because I definitely think now, post pandemic, it's like so topical and so, like, actually, you know what? Yeah. Like, I mean, the other thing, so part of that and what we looked at was like a self assessment thing. Yeah, I'm really saying about that. So, like, doing something like that could be helpful. Yeah. It's basically, uh, <clears throat> if you, you rate the lower six, whatever the numbers are, yeah. here are some steps you can take. Yeah. If you rate above this, we'd suggest you go get external help. So. Okay. Yeah, makes a lot of sense and it sounds like an exciting time as well. I don't know if we've we mentioned, but we're uh, launched in Berlin as well. So. A little rock, all that jewelry on your arm. Uh, uh, hit, don't stop, hit the corner or the block. New York's going to change you. You're going to come back with some girl in Monaco. That's going to be wrong. <laughs> That's going to be wrong. <laughs> You're going to have like the Monopoly man. I don't think I'm going to come back. You're going to have to go up with somebody new. Thank you. I'm about to do the same thing. <laughs> Thank you. Jane, man. Eight ball like a baseball. Better swing, man. Do it because... What are you drinking? What am I drinking? You know what I'm drinking, James. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Kill them, about to kill them, that's a casualty. Sci-fi thriller in Manila like I'm Ali. I'm a bad rider. Yeah. Jumping a new denial. Oh. I like to mix it up, you know, like I was callous. We the rich. The next is, I mean, this is like, maybe not doable, but like Karen Brady or someone like that. I just think that she. I had that in mind. Yeah. I listened to her podcast the other day. Yeah. And it's like, obviously, such a male dom dominated field. Yeah. So I think that that and is she's an interesting like one. A celebrity, I guess. I yeah. Know. See, everyone knows her. Yeah. yeah. Do you? That's good. Yeah, I think Karen Brady would be class. Some good ones there. Huh? I like it. So, can you share that list with Cash? Yeah. And then basically, what we'll do is we'll go back through, let's get all in one, and sort of we'll come up with the like top hits that we should go after. There's some good ones on that, I like it. I've got a couple of authors I think would be really good. There's a guy called Matthew Said. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the last name right. He wrote a book called Block, Black Box Thinking, which is really interesting. It's about why the airline industry is so much more successful than healthcare, and basically in healthcare because both the, when things go wrong people die on both but in healthcare people are liable so they like really hold it to themselves that no one claims responsibility this and the other whereas <coughs> with airlines they all like really come together and they're actually rewarded for coming clean with everything that they come out with i think they're financially rewarded so that book was really good i'm now reading his one called rebel ideas and it's all about diversity of thought and you know, the, the crux of it is Silicon Valley is so successful because it's so diverse in thought, whereas Boston was really leaning in before then, but everyone was from Boston. No one really moved there. Everyone had the same ideas. So it kind of comes back to why we exist and the fact that actually communities can help each other, yada, yada, yada. So I think it'd be great for that. The only other one or two that I've got that I didn't like to is Kanye King, who founded the Mobile Awards. So I don't know if you remember, we were trying to get her uh, for the documentary and just couldn't line up diaries, so I think we could get her, which would be good. Um, and again, like, start, just such a part of a cultural movement, I think, would be so good. 
All right, we have a pretty good selection there, I'd say. So, should we get that all in a list? And we all send it to Tash to stick in the next Um And then maybe let's just quickly go over it again in the next couple of days. And just prioritize and figure out how we can get some of these ones. Um, and let's try to split it into who we think is that, like an actual call, like who would sell tickets, who would be the ones that stick with them six months later, a year later. Um, and I think that's really the way to look at it. Yeah.